everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing some more home defense, self-defense testing. I did a video on the PCC, the, the EPC-9, a nine millimeter carbine, 8.3 inch barrel. Pretty good penetration, and we're gonna see how that compares to some Winchester silver tips. This is 223. This is my competition AR-15, 13.9 uh, inch barrel, yada, yada, yada. But um, 64 grain defense tip. So it's not a regular 223556 round traveling at 2,900 feet per second. That's gonna go straight through. There's no expansion. This has a self-defense tip. It is supposed to flower out like your standard self-defense rounds. So we're gonna start by putting a couple of rounds through the chronograph, see how it does, see what the speeds are compared to a regular target uh, match 223. And then we're gonna shoot the gel at about 25 yards, 22, 25 yards, because that's the depth of my house. That is probably the longest shot that I would take in a self-defense situation at my house. So let's, uh, let's get all geared up and see how they do. All right, bear with me. I don't have a second tripod, so this, is, uh, this camera angle might be a little poor, but uh, this Winchester silver tip is rated at about 26.55 feet per second at the muzzle. It's a 64 grain round. Let's get some speeds. Twenty-seven fifty-six. Twenty-six eighty-nine. Twenty-seven forty-one. Twenty-seven eighty-four. Twenty-seven twenty-eight. So around around 2700 feet per second so a little faster than the advertised on the box and this was generated from a 16 inch barrel so shorter barrel higher speeds interesting i got the gel set up down there 25 yard shot let's go all right i got the gel down there uh we'll do a slow motion after i take the shot there is a projectile in there hopefully you don't learn from the last time and hit the projectile that's in there and skew this test. But I feel that I'm pretty accurate from 25 yards and I might be able to go to the side of it. So 64 grain bullets, 2,700 feet per second, 20, 22, 23 yards, self-defense situation. See how she does. That was a little low. That was a little low. It went in here and definitely came and hit the table. And there is a piece right there. There is a piece right there. So we're gonna load this up and do it again. All right, that was a little low. I maybe just didn't account for enough uh, height over bore. So we're gonna do one more shot. Hopefully we don't screw this one up. The projectile, even though it shattered, probably because of the table, is actually pretty cool. So let's do it again. I don't know if that one was right on target or not. Of course, you'll see it before I do. The first one went in over here. The second one went in over here. You could see the wound channel and you saw the expansion on the slow-mo. This is where the round wound up. It did fragment both times. So I don't know if it was due to the table or if it just 
fragmented. That's the uh, that's from another test. So uh, not really not as much penetration as I thought there would have been. I thought it would have definitely traveled into the second block. That is what the first one looked like because it was on the bottom. But um, yeah, you could see how cloudy that wound channel is and then the round wound up there on the bottom with some fragments. So I don't know, this was from another test. That, uh, that one's pretty nice. I like, I might like that one better than this one, but it is a Winchester silver tip and I didn't like it. So we'll see. Let's take it back to the house and talk about it. Back in the house, we've got the gel. I've had a chance to look at all the footage and I know that I said in like maybe 30 seconds ago, a minute ago, I said that I would prefer the nine millimeter over the 223. But now that I've seen all the footage and I saw the energy transfer and whatnot, do I still feel the same? Well, let's talk about it. So this is the gel. I did wind up aiming or did wind up shooting a little low. Um, my nine millimeter went right here and the two, 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 three went right here on the bottom and I dented the table. So there was definitely some energy transfer down to the table, but um, you can see the wound channel here and much cloudier wound channel than the nine. The nine definitely went kind of straight through and this because it fragmented, I believe, is why it is a dirtier wound channel. I mean, you can kind of see just how cloudy and dirty that is. I don't know if it's that silver tip that's in there, but this 223 silver tip, I thought would flower out and I was wrong. It fragmented. We've got fragments up here, here, and then when you come down, it's down here, down here, um, over here. And even when I was watching it on the slow motion, I saw fragments flying out of the gel. I don't know if it was because it was down, but fragments were coming out of the gel. So we've got a couple of follow-up tests that we need to do with that 223 because if I was comparing, if I only had the two options of the nine millimeter versus the 223, um, after seeing what the energy transfer looked like on the slow motion, I'm gonna go with the 223. Um, and I know a couple of videos ago I said Winchester silver chips were Winchester silver tips were trash, but these 223 Winchester silver tips, 64 grain, uh, they're the real deal. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. Um, I've got more 223 self defense rounds to try. I also want to do some 300 blackout tests. I want to do some um, double odd buck and some slugs. So we're not done by any means when it comes to our home defense test. But for right now, knowing what I know, a proven result, I'm going to go with the 223, the Winchester silver tip. So let me know what you think down below. Like I said, we're just getting started. There are a lot more tests to go. Practical tests, like things that make sense, things that make you say, I'm going to change what I do because what I what I was doing maybe wasn't the what well, maybe wasn't the best thing. So and we're also gonna I also want to put this 223 through some drywall. Um, I want to I want to build the walls that I've been wanting to do for the um, one of the shotgun rounds that I bought. I can't remember what it was, but oh yeah, it was that Force X2. So I've been wanting to build the walls and just replace the the drywall as I shoot it. So I think we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to do some gel tests with clothing in front, you know, a barrier, a clothing barrier in front and see what kind of impedance that creates. So, but definitely a lot of energy transfer with the, and I wanted to show you a projectile, but it's really just a bunch of fragments and it takes me a really long time to pull them all out for here. But that's gonna do it for this one. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.